over 11,000 views. Can you believe that? Shut up. Are you for real? Yeah, no, crazy, right? Oh my god. Um, I'm flying out of Newark tonight, so I'm gonna pass by. There's not a lot of traffic, so I should be there in under an hour. Okay. Be careful driving. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Some of us are so broken. We sacrifice our happiness out of fear of being alone. Is that really love? Is that really love? To live in fear or die, it's all the same. People like to hide inside the pain. Cry but never strive to make a change. Trap your mind without the ball and chain. Deep inside, you thrive inside your brain. You give your all to those you entertain. The love they give to you is not the same. The picture looks so good inside the frame. That you decide not to make a change. All you really trying to do is maintain the life you live inside your brain. Two but narcissists are just a game. Normally, you wouldn't want to play games with someone hoping they would stay. Faith and love is hoping it will make sense of all this person's crazy ways. Make excuses each and every day. Though deep inside you no, this ain't the way. Guilty trips are pleased for you to stay. Self-esteem is drinking every day. They take it too much, you still give away. They ripping your spirit, your soul is in pain. The feelings are crazy, you feel you're insane. You know this ain't love, you're emotionally drained. I gave you my love. I gave you my heart. I gave you my world. I'm dying inside while you tear it apart. Prove that I'm wrong. Take care of my heart. Simple and plain. I'm living through pain. I know this ain't love, I'm emotionally drained. Emotionally drained. Damn, you got here fast. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to pass by. Okay. What's Westwood? I say I took him to the groomer for me, because I don't know. I don't feel 100%. I'm tired. COVID? <laughs> no, it's stupid. I'm just tired, but I'll be okay. Just take it easy if you feel that's what you need to do. I know. So where are you headed today? San Francisco. But didn't you just get in last night? Yeah, but... 
I'm trying to work as much as I can this month. Plus, I have this long layover, and I get to see Carlos' sister. We got her some stuff from Hawaii. Oh, okay. How is Carlos? He's good. I'm a little mad at him right now. Why? What happened? It's not a big deal. It's just I wanted to vent about my last trip, and he just got too caught up with cleaning and didn't have time, so. Okay, well, I'm here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. But, um, I know that you have a lot on your plate, too. Like, you know, you have Isaiah, the dog, church, grandma. And I just I just didn't want to add on to that. Well, I'm not going to lie. It is a lot, but it's the least I can do. I appreciate that. So talk to me. So on my last trip. The one that ended last night? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a lot. Sometimes I don't even get the days out of the week right. I don't know how you do it, but anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, um, I flew with this kid, just turned 22 or something like that, who for some reason I felt this strong connection to from the beginning. And as the day went on, he found out about the film and about how it was about our relationship and addiction and all that, he began to open up. Looking back, it's almost like in that exact moment, his eyes locked onto mine and I saw his cry for help. So me being the way that I am, I had to ask questions and find out more and more about what this kid has gone through. Then he mentions that he thinks he was molested and I just lost it. I had to take a minute in the bathroom to collect myself. It was a lot. But I saw the pain in his eyes, and I had to just stay strong for him, you know what I mean? And that feeling stood with me the whole day. So of course, by the time we got to the hotel, I was beyond drained. Because, you know, I already put 150% to make sure that every passenger has a good experience. And that in itself is draining. But this, this was overwhelming. And of course, like, I could have just dismissed him. I could have just not asked questions or whatever, but I felt this sense of responsibility to pay it forward, to share what I have learned with him because it helped me so much. I know it's gonna help someone else too. And despite our relationship being so emotional and difficult at times, I feel like it prepared me for these people that God seems to put in my path. Because let me tell you, I've flown with people who in one way or another needed me. And it's almost always starts because of the film. Even if I don't want to bring it up, the, somehow the conversation just goes there. But regardless, I still try lending an ear verbalizing words of encouragement to try to be positive and offer some sort of hope to these people that really need it. Like this kid. And this kid. And I don't know how I can really help him, but I gotta at least try. If he's open to it. I think he's open to it. I don't know. My mind is all over the place. I just feel sad for him. Why do you feel sad, baby? Don't feel sad. You know what? He's got you now. Yeah, but who's got me? You know, like, I've, I've been there lifting people up, listening to people. Who's going to give that to me when all I do, I put, I put my energy into my work at home with everything that I need to do. Who's got me? I do, baby. I got you. I know, but you got a lot on your plate that you have to worry about and focus on. This is why I wanted to do this with Carlos. You know that I believe everything happens for a reason. And this is no exception. You know, for the past few days, I've been consumed with the thought of what happened to you, you know? The same thing that happened to this kid. And I don't know. And trust me, it's not like I forget. This is something that no parent could ever forget. Especially when it happens to your own kid, you know? 
I don't know, maybe because in the world somewhere it was lining up with what was happening to you on your side. I don't know. But I feel this pain in the depths of my soul. You know, this terrible feeling that I can't seem to shake off. And I know that I've shaken off a lot of stuff, a lot of feelings. But this, I just can't with this. I don't think any parent can. I don't think any mother could ever get over something like this, you know? And I am grateful, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that you are good for the most part. But that's no thanks to me because I can't help but think that I should have been there to protect you. Parents are supposed to be there for their children to make sure that you're okay emotionally, mentally, physically. And when you're not, we're supposed to be there to protect you. And I didn't do that because I wasn't present. And I should have been. And I'm so sorry. I am so very sorry, Jose. I know you are. I hope so, baby, because I really am. And I'm praying on it every day. I ask God to give me the strength to continue to try making it up to you, to your brothers, to your, to my mother, to your grandmother. You know, at least for whatever time I have left in this world, I just want to be here for my family and do whatever I can. And you are. Trust me, I, you know I would have been the first to, to, to call you out on it if you wasn't doing and, and putting in the work. But you are, and, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. And let me tell you, I am so very proud of you, baby, for the wonderful documentary, for overcoming the fear of flying, who would have thought, for so unselfishly helping with grandma, for doing everything that you do. I am just so very proud of you. Thank you. Well, I gotta go. You good? Actually, I think I am. I needed this. Honestly, so did I. I may be so. Listen, call me if you need to. Anytime, all right? Thank you. Kid, what's up? You got some sleep? Sleep? What's that? Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Yeah, what up? What are you up to? I'm just leaving my mom's house, headed to the airport. Y'all had the best conversation with her because of you. Lord, I just had a hard to heart with my mom too. And I told her about you. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? That she was happy I found someone to look after me out here. I told you, kid. We're part of the same tribe now. I got you. I got you too. Hey, chill with all that vehicle stuff. I'm still young. Uh, okay, vehicle.